So hello everyone, it is your girl Jill Beauty 87 here at AK Great. And today we're gonna get into another battle of the. Yes, I know. It's been like 20 minutes since I did a battle of the. I'm like the color pop of battle of thus. There'll be one 20 minutes after this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? No, I'm totally kidding. Um, but um, so today Battle of the is inspired by Babs Beauty aka Stephanie here on YouTube. She decided that my beloved Kosas, uh, what is this, creamy concealer, is similar to the ABH concealer that just came out. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I know how I am when people try to compare one of my favorite things to something else that I've already tried. So, y'all already know what's happening. We're going to get it done. So, I already put my foundation on um, to save time. We're going to get into these two concealers. Now, I'm tr I don't remember how much the Kosas one retails for. I think this one was 24 or 28 Child, Don't start with the lie. I'll try to remember link the video though above with the ABH one since I was recently done along with one of um along with their cream bronzer. I have to actually go to Sephora today and um return some stuff. I had ordered it and then I went in the store and picked it up instead because I didn't know it was gonna be that quick to the store. So now I have to go take the one I ordered back to the store, which is fine because it's a concealer, it's a um what is it? It's a serum I want to get for my acne. <laughs> So I'm like, I'll go ahead and do that. But anyway, we're going to put Kosas underneath this eye. I'm kind of trying to brush through a little bit because like in 10 minutes the new Menagerie palette drops and I have to go like grab it. When I go grab it, I have to get online and grab it. So um, when it comes to high highlight in the middle of my face, I'm just use the Kosas one because it's like I'm not going to try to do that. The only place I'll try to do that is like on the forehead. So yeah, I move my face, we just going to go with Kosas and we'll do the Kosas on this side. So... This is the close outside. Remember that for later because y'all know we're going to have to finish it off. I got the new Patrick Star Setting Spray. I got the small one. I don't know why though because it's like I trust Patrick. I think it's just more if I have a whole bunch of concealers. So I was like, who has time for this? I mean, concealers. I have a whole bunch of um, setting sprays already. Y'all saw I got a whole bunch here. And then I got a whole bunch at home. Like my, I got two containers worth on, on the uh, dresser on my counter. On my counter. Now you see um, the colors are not the same, so let's go ahead and put this one over here. It's on the other side of the chin. I forgot to highlight with the close eyes one, so excuse me. Let's highlight my forehead there. But yeah, y'all, so I um, and ex I already bought the Blend Bunny new palette that just came out, the Surge one, and then I got to buy this Menagerie one. I ended up getting the last um, Huda Beauty one when they had the Labor Day sale for 20% off, and we're going to compare it to the Toffee one up a little bit after this, so I'm going to do this video, and then I'm going to do the um, one size video, and I think that's the only videos I have to do today, which I'm shocked about because y'all know I normally have way more videos to do, so I'm going to use this side for, um, what is it, Kofas, and then I'll flip it over to the other side that you see now, so Blend out my um ABH shots. I like to turn it over and use the foundation. Um, my part already has foundation on it to help it blend into the skin a little better. So I think what I'm doing now, I'm gonna let the one sit underneath the eye as long as possible. So we're gonna hold it this side now. And lay that part. In our forehead so yeah i'm so excited that all the new launches are things i actually want coming out but i'm actually sad too though because i'm like gonna lose all the coins because i show i'm about to buy the pat mcgrath odyssey palette then i'm gonna buy the coast the quad with the blue <laughs> color in it are we surprised no no we're not then i'm going to buy the um what do you call it um Oh, of course y'all know I'm super excited, super, 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 super excited because Tina the Fancy Face. Y'all know we love Tina here. I love Tina so much. I feel like this is just her year. She finally got her 100000 She deserves. And if you all didn't know, fun fact, I have been watching Tina since my makeup journey began when I started watching YouTube for makeup. And that was in 2015. So I am just elated that she finally got a collab. Because I feel like it's long overdue and she is just so deserving of one. She comes on here and gives her all. When Tina does a video, it's it's not a YouTube video, honey. It is a filming production. The time and effort that woman puts into all her videos is just it's just 10 out of 10. Like, Tina just deserves a 20, okay? So I am so excited that she has a collab. She has with Odin's Eye. 
And then she got her 100000 This is the year of Tina the Fancy Face, honey. How you doing? So, that's why I did not end the giveaway. Because y'all know normally in two weeks I would end my giveaway and call it a day. But when Tina announced it was a palette, I was like, oh, ho, ho, ho. No. We not end this giveaway till I get the palette in my hand. So, I'm going to order one. And I'm going to add it to one of the boxes. I don't know what box it's going to be in. Don't ask me. But y'all going to get one. Because I just, everyone needs to have this palette. And experience this experience with Tina since she finally got a collab. So I was like, hold off on casting the giveaway because it doesn't launch to the 20th. So the giveaway apparently lasts longer than I normally would. But, you know, I figured y'all fine with it. And it is three boxes since everybody decided it need to be three boxes. So you're going to have three boxes. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take some cream bronzer now and put it on my face. So we're going to take the Persona one in Sahara and you'll see how non-existent it is on my skin tone. So, yeah. Um... Now you see I'm rubbing it on my face, right? What do you actually like see it on my face though? I mean I see a little bit right in here, but you know, not much there. Yeah. And then I'm going to take um the putty bronzer from e.l.f. I got the shade Bronze Bell, I believe it was. Yeah, Bronze Bell. I should have bought a shade darker than that, but I just stuck to this one, which is fine. You know, it's not that big a deal. I have pretty other cream bronzes, and I usually use this one in between my eyes. But since, you know, I can't because I'm trying to use multiple bronzes and show y'all um, how they work. Even though I feel like I use this one and another one. But anyway, I know my foundation is off in color, but see what had happened was I, um... I'm using the Kiko Milano one. If you all remember that video, I told y'all I bought a shade darker than I needed to. Because I didn't know how dark it was going to be. It was my first time using the brand's complexion products. So I was like, just to be safe, I'll get this shade. Because you know they try to saturate colors online and make them look darker than they are. But apparently Kiko Milano does not do that. Because now I'm just actually looking crazy. And it's like, you know, way too dark. I normally do it all around here. But I'm like, I'm trying to let the concealer sit as long as possible to get the best coverage. Since I'm not using a brush the way I normally would. Because normally y'all know I use a brush. And then I go sponge, but I didn't want to have to wash too many brushes. When I was like, I could just wash the sponge. So that's what we're doing here. Um, I'm excited to try out this um, new Huda Beauty palette. Because since I did get to try it in my initial review, I already have a ranking of the other three here. But I'm like, I want to try the new one and see how I feel about it. Plus, I just want to see if I'm right and if it's really similar to the Toffee palette. Because everybody's trying to compare it to Gold palette. I'm like, she literally just came out with a palette like three months ago that like looks really similar to this one the toffee one so i was like why is everybody just talking about this gold palette like the toffee palette does this so when it went on sale I was like i'm gonna find out just like the toffee palette now since everybody else is trying to compare it to this um you know the gold palette that nobody liked because i hear a lot of people did not like that and the quality of it was not like up to par but i don't know if it's because it was a holiday palette that she thought it was just okay to just think she could just slide it in on us and it was gonna be okay Hey y'all, so I used my Vitamin Enriched Face Base um, today. Because if y'all remember, I was not, I mean like hear me, I was not feeling the um, the Milk Hydro Grip. If y'all remember that video, I'll try to remember link it up above. Honey, no, don't waste your coins. Crazy thing is I got to go return it to Sephora today. Because what happened was I had ordered it online. Because I didn't know um, it was going to come into the Sephora that I normally go to pick up my stuff that quickly so when they did um i had ordered that in the patrick ta mascara because they didn't have it on the day it launched up there they had it the next day so i was like okay well i'll just go ahead and you know order it on sephora's website so then um i found out i could pick it up in store the next day after it had launched so that's when i was like oh well i should just go ahead and do that the, the um store didn't the store had it but the distribution center um, I didn't get to them in time and tell them to cancel my order, so they sent, ended up sending it to me. So I ended up with that horrible ass primer twice. I mean, y'all saw it. Look at my, um, primer. I'm still in love with this makeup forever powder, y'all. So that's why I'm over here just pressing it in like a crazy lady. So I'm going to just set the pieces underneath my eye real quick. Then I'm going to order this Menagerie palette. And that's why I didn't kind of want to start this video, because I was scared I was going to, um, end up missing a launch but at the same time i was like i still have to go to sport and drop off this stuff like i'm telling you in this video so that's why i was kind of like i need to just go ahead and do it without actually going to like that or not that i don't want to but you know what i mean like even though i might 
miss out on a lot of stuff. I don't plan on missing on it. I'm just gonna pat this down real quick and I will check in with y'all. My face is completely done because you know I still have to shoot the Patrick top. I mean Patrick Patrick thought. Y'all help me get my life going, please. Okay, I'll be right back, girl. Okay, okay. So I have returned after many hours of wear in my socialite sandy voice. Um yeah, um I feel like we look quite oily. But you have to keep in mind we did um you know, uh eat and whatnot and had to wear a mask for eight hours so again i don't think this product was formulated for that so just keep that in mind while we're looking at all the yeah all of this plus there is highlighter mixed into my foundation if you all were not aware which i'm pretty sure i didn't tell you so you were not aware how about that okay um i must say the eyes held up quite well um i'm just feeling like it's looking oily like right in here but again this is where we had the mask on you notice all the other parts around the face where there was no mask you don't that's okay. If you're curious what's on my eyes, this is the new, sorry, new to me, Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions Tiger Palette. This was the last palette I had to get um, to round off my uh, Wild Obsessions collection, and I did. So, yeah, that's it. But um, let's look into these concealers now, because um, I have to um, do a video on the concealers and the setting spray. So if y'all remember, this is the Kosas Eye. This is the ABH Eye. I feel like they look the same, you know, like I feel like they wore about the same. Um, I don't know if I'd say they're dupes because, um, in my personal opinion, the, since the Kostas has the skincare ingredients in it for um, the under eye, I feel like that's what doesn't make them the same. The consistency probably makes them the same, but with that added ingredient, I wouldn't say they're the same. They feel the same going on, but... Um, I feel like the shades are harder to find when it comes to the uh, ABH one because I feel like the shade was really difficult for me to find. The one I grabbed, which was 17, because remember they like have weird undertones. Like they usually use cool undertones for people with like warm undertones and all that type of weird stuff. So I'm like, I would just say go with the Kosas one for that reason alone, plus the skincare benefits. With this one, I just feel like it's really difficult to find a shade match. And since we're still in COVID times, so it's about to be winter here in Chicago, it's just going to make it worse. I'm going to say go with the Coast Oz ones. I feel like their colors online are pretty true to the colors that you get um, in the mail. With the ABH one, I went to go pick it up in store, but, you know, it's okay. It's just, I'm just kind of biased and like the Coast Oz one better. Plus, I'm still kind of playing out with the ABH one a little bit, but I see where she's coming from about them being similar because of the consistency, but I just don't think they give the same amount of coverage. I think the ABH one does give more coverage, so if you like more coverage, maybe you should go with that one. But I'm going to just stick to using my Kosas one for Kosas and, you know, using it, testing out the ABH one and seeing how I feel about it some more. Because I feel like it doesn't work well with salt powders either, so it's kind of finicky for me. And that's another reason I'm saying I'm going to stick with the Kosas. But if you don't have an issue, you might like it. But those are my thoughts on both of the products. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I will catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.